So you know how to name teeth based on what dentition they're from, what arch they're in, what half of the mouth they're in, and the type and class of tooth. And if not, check out my latest video. But do you wanna be writing out five words every time you're talking about a tooth? Do you think I should write my oral surgery referrals like this? Dearest oral surgeon, please extract the permanent maxillary right third molar, the permanent maxillary left third molar, the permanent mandibular right third molar, the permanent mandibular left third molar, and the root tips of the permanent mandibular right canine, the permanent mandibular left lateral incisor, the permanent mandibular right central incisor, the permanent mandibular left central incisor, the permanent mandibular left lateral incisor, and the permanent mandibular left canine. Thank you kindly, Dr. Clara Boyzek, DMD. No, that's way too long. It takes forever to write, forever to read, and it's really easy to make a mistake, whether you're reading it or writing it. In fact, I had to record that three times because I kept messing up just saying those words. There's so many of them. So instead, dentists assign numbers to each tooth. So instead of naming teeth, we almost count teeth. So using the numbering system that I use, I actually write my referrals like this. Please extract 1, 16, 17, 32, as well as the root tips of 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Thank you, Dr. Clara Boyzak, DMD, smiley face. See, a lot clearer. I didn't have to record that multiple times. <laughs> the oral surgeon knows exactly what I'm pulling and it was really quick. In this video, I'm gonna show you three different numbering systems every first year dental student should know. And those are the universal numbering system, the FDI numbering system, and the Palmer Notation numbering system. Hi, I'm Dr. Clara. I'm a practicing dentist and your new dental study coach. I know you have a million things to be worried about as a first year dental student, but finding clear, valuable, and still concise study material should not be one of them. So it's my goal to turn mountains of textbooks and information into short, easy, digestible videos for you so that you can save time and study some other subject, spend more time in the lab, maybe volunteer, maybe just catch up on sleep. Let's get started. The first numbering system we're gonna go over and the numbering system that I use is the universal numbering system. This numbering system is recommended by the ADA, the American Dental Association, and is used in the United States, as well as all my future videos. When using the universal numbering system, each of the 32 permanent teeth are assigned a number one through 32. Here is a set of permanent dentition. It's as if the patient's facing you. So this is the patient's right and the patient's left. The teeth are numbered starting at one at the permanent right maxillary third molar. You go across assigning each tooth a number until you reach number 16 at the permanent maxillary left third molar. Then you drop down to start at 17 at the permanent mandibular left third molar. And you'll count up to 32 as you go across to the permanent mandibular right third molar, leaving you with 32 teeth each assigned a number between one and 32. Using the universal numbering system, you can now use a number instead of five words when you're talking about a tooth. For example, instead of saying the permanent maxillary left lateral incisor, you can say number 10. Or instead of saying the permanent mandibular second premolar, you can say number 29. With the universal numbering system, Numbering the primary teeth is very similar to how we number the permanent teeth. But instead of using numbers, we're gonna use letters. So that each of the 20 primary teeth are assigned a letter between A and T. And as some of my very smart six-year-old patients will tell me, that's not a number, you can't count like that. That is just how we differentiate between permanent teeth and primary teeth using the universal numbering system. We use numbers for permanent teeth and letters for primary teeth. So once again, when using the universal numbering system, 
we're going to assign a letter A through T to each of the 20 primary teeth. Here's a set of primary teeth as if the patient is looking at you. So this is the patient's right and the patient's left. The teeth are numbered starting at A for the maxillary right second molar, assigning a new number to each tooth as you go across until you reach J at the maxillary left second molar. Then you'll jump down, start at K for the mandibular left second molar, counting across, assigning each tooth a letter until you reach the mandibular right second molar at T, leaving you with each of the 20 teeth assigned a letter between A and T. So using the universal numbering system, instead of saying the primary maxillary left lateral incisor, you just say G. Or instead of saying the primary right mandibular second molar, you can say T. Easy peasy. So quick. The second way to count teeth is using the FDI numbering system or the Federation Dentaire Internationale numbering system. This system isn't used in the United States, but it's used in many other countries, including Canada. This numbering system assigns each tooth a number, but in this case, it'll be two different numbers, two digits for each tooth. The first number is going to represent the quadrant the tooth is in. So if you take a set of permanent teeth, once again, with the patient facing you, so this is the patient's left and this is the patient's right. So this is the upper right quadrant, upper left quadrant, lower left quadrant, and lower right quadrant. A number is assigned to each of those quadrants. One, two, three, and four. The primary teeth are what also divided into quadrants, upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right. And each of those quadrants are assigned a number starting at five instead of one. So we have five, six, seven, eight. The second number in the FDI numbering system is gonna indicate the tooth's position from the midline in that quadrant. For the permanent teeth, that's a number one through eight. Starting from the midline, the central incisor is assigned the number one, lateral incisor, the number two, canine, the number three, first premolar, the number four, second premolar, the number five, first molar, the number six, second molar, the number seven, and third molar, the number eight. For the primary dentition, the teeth in each quadrant are assigned a number one through five. So starting from the midline, central incisor is assigned the number one, lateral incisor two, canine three, first molar four, and second molar five. This gives us the two numbers we need to number a tooth using the FDI numbering system. The first number, one through eight, is going to indicate which quadrant and which dentition the tooth is in. So a permanent tooth is going to be first assigned a number one through four, indicating which quadrant is in. And a primary tooth is going to be first assigned a number five through eight, indicating which quadrant it's in. Then the second number is going to indicate the position from the midline. For the permanent teeth, that's a number one through eight. And for the primary teeth, that's a number one through five. Now these two numbers are spoken separately. And by that I mean, if you take this tooth, which is in the upper left quadrant and the second from the midline, instead of saying 22, you actually say two, two. So using the FDI numbering system, instead of saying the permanent maxillary left lateral incisor, you would say, Two, two. Or instead of saying the permanent mandibular second premolar, you would say four, five. And instead of saying the primary mandibular right second molar, you would say eight, five. The last numbering system used for counting teeth that we're going to go over is the Palmer notation system. In this system, each tooth is assigned first a symbol and then a number. The symbol is going to be a right angle pointing in a different direction to indicate which quadrant that tooth is in. For the permanent teeth, here's a set with the patient facing you, patient's right, patient's left, upper right quadrant, upper left quadrant, lower left quadrant, and lower right quadrant. The upper right quadrant is assigned this symbol, which you'll see matches the angle formed by a line that divides the set of teeth into a maxillary and mandibular, and into the left and right. So it's kind of an easier way of remembering what that symbol should look like for each quadrant. So 
Upper right, the symbol looks like this. Upper left, the symbol looks like this. Lower left, the symbol looks like this. And lower right, the symbol looks like this. It's the same for the primary teeth as well. It's the same symbols. This symbol for the upper right, this symbol for the upper left, this symbol for the lower left, and this symbol for the lower right. The tooth is then assigned a number indicating its position from the midline. For permanent teeth, the teeth are assigned to numbers 1 through 8, starting at the central incisor being assigned the number 1, lateral incisor 2, canine 3, first premolar 4, second premolar 5, first molar 6, second molar 7, and 8 for the third molar. And for the primary dentition, the teeth are assigned a letter. A through E, indicating the position from the midline. I know, I know, that's not really a number, but that's how the Palmer notation system differentiates between primary and permanent teeth. In the Palmer notation system, in the primary teeth, the central incisor assigned the letter A, lateral incisor B, canine C, first molar D, second molar E. This gives us everything we need to number a tooth using the Palmer notation system. Using the Palmer notation system, a permanent tooth is first assigned a bracket indicating the quadrant it's in, and then a number one through eight indicating the position from the midline. A primary tooth is assigned a bracket to indicate what quadrant it is in, and then a letter to indicate the position from the midline. A through E. So instead of writing permanent maxillary left lateral incisor, you'll write this symbol and the number two. And instead of writing the permanent mandibular right second premolar, you would write this symbol and the number five. And then for the primary mandibular right second molar, you would write this symbol and the letter E. So you now know the three different numbering systems the universal numbering system, which assigns a number one through 32 for each of the permanent teeth, and a letter A through T for all the primary teeth, the FDI numbering system, which assigns two numbers to each tooth, the first to indicate the quadrant, one through eight, and then the second to indicate the position from the midline, one through eight for the permanent teeth, and one through five for the primary teeth. You also now know the Palmer notation system, which will assign a symbol and a number or letter to each of the teeth. For the permanent teeth, that would be a symbol for the quadrant and then a number one through eight for the position from the midline. And for the primary teeth, it would be a symbol to indicate the quadrant and then a letter A through E for the position from the midline. If you found this video helpful, it would really help me if you gave it a like. And if you know someone, maybe a fellow dental student who is also learning how to count teeth, and would find this video helpful, please share it with them. Please subscribe and stay tuned for my next video where we zoom in on a tooth and look at the different layers and parts of an individual tooth. Till then, enjoy one of these other videos and happy studying. <laughs> Bye.